Hello, my name is Matthew Mercer. I'm a voice actor and the Dungeon Master for Critical Role here at Geek and & Sundry. And today's episode of GM Tips is actually more for the players this time, as this discussion revolves around the creation and role-playing of characters that are radically different from your expectations of the genre tropes you know. Here are some thoughts on role-playing against type. There are many tropes and genre stories in games, and they largely come from a place of appreciation and rationality. A charismatic bard will usually be full of smiles and song. A well-learned magic user might likely end up haughty and prone to mage-splaining. A ranger who wanders the wilderness alone is probably going to be socially brusque and dark of mood. Or a dark elf with twin scimitars and a pet panther. But seriously, stop it. This shit got out of hand in the early 90s. Don't. Outside of that example, there is absolutely nothing wrong with choosing these personality archetypes at all. They can all lead to extremely fun characters, and the real meat comes from the nuances you impart via the backstory and play experience with them. However, I also recommend players occasionally take a walk on the wild side, lean into the weird, and play against those tropes a bit. For instance, when creating a character, think about what would make a good foil to their strengths. What element of their personality or story could really lend to interesting conflict, both internally and externally, based solely on their class? I mean, much of this can be character flavor, not mechanical, but that is totally up to you. Like, for instance, rogues are known for their professionally stealthy, nimble selves, staying out of the public eye. But imagine a Mr. Bean-esque fool who wandered into the field of thievery accidentally and is unintentionally good at his job, can't seem to escape his lot in life and believes he fails nearly every time, but each attempt sets off a Rube Goldberg device-like series of events and that then it succeeds or fails spectacularly. Or warlocks are well-established for their marrying their fate to darker entities in exchange for power. But what if they bound themselves to an evil creature irrevocably for both sides and continue to try to use the dark powers for super good? Saving kittens from trees or feeding the poor. The results can vary and get bloody sometimes. Or paladins. They're often expected to be bastions of holy goodness and superman-like blandness. I fight this theory. Imagine a paladin who is super down and nihilistic while their deity truly believes they are a worthy vessel who just needs a push. They fight evil out of habit and boredom. Their weapon strikes almost puppeteered by divine influence as they seek the will and inspiration to care again. I also wish to reach out to you players who lament rolling low stats at character creation. Especially one really low stat. That shit is a gift! Oh my god, my favorite characters to GM or play as are generally useless at one or many things. Lean into that. Put it somewhere uncomfortable for your normal role-playing space and see where it pushes you as a player. Maybe you don't make an ability score that is central to your class too low so as to make it non-functional, but consider that it can be a lot of fun to start off as a bard who is actually really bad at dancing, but insists they will get better with practice. And they just might. There are also ways to dress up the capabilities of your class to narratively function entirely different than expected, though the mechanics of the system remain unchanged. For instance, what if a wizard is instead an arcane shaman from a now-ruined nation destroyed by their arrogance long ago? Instead of a spell book, they carry a bag of animal bones and arrange them every morning in succession to take spell inspiration gifts from their ancestors, or spell memorization as we know it normally. Spellcasting is not a network of sigils, but the spirits of their bloodline manifesting to defend it. A barbarian doesn't need to be Conan, but could be instead a blue-collar miner who lost his job, his wife left him, his one son turned 17 and absconded with his savings, and finally he just snapped. He's now a wandering, broken man with a chip on his shoulder and a need to lash out at the world. Now go watch the movie Falling Down for inspiration. It's a really great movie. You should really check it out. Now these are all some fun ideas to mix up the standard expectations of fantasy RPGs, and these ideas and suggestions extend to all other genres as well. So have fun, find your own weird character themes, and enjoy the stories that follow, because they will, and they'll be memorable. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and learned something from this episode of GM Tips. You can find me on Geek & Sundry's Critical Role Thursdays at 7 p.m. Pacific Time on Twitch, and I'll see you on the internet.